Watch the Capitol riot unfold here on CBS 3. CBS News Chief of National Affairs and Justice Correspondent Jeff Begates was there. He was an eyewitness to history. A short time ago, he shared his personal account with me and his thoughts on those who tried to dismiss what happened. When you think about all the violence, uh, and many of you saw that on your TV screens, what was unfolding there, but yeah, I, I witnessed it. It started with this rally at the Ellipse in, in Washington, and it was a peaceful rally until, uh, frankly, Rudy Giuliani took the stage and, and said this phrase, trial by combat, and then President Trump uh, took the stage, and he addressed the crowd, which then started leaving. And as the crowd was leaving that location here in Washington, Somebody started beating on our live truck, and I looked around, and it was this guy, and his eyes seemed to be popping out of his head, and the stick that he was uh, using to pound on our truck, it wasn't a little stick, it was a big stick, and he looked like he wanted to hurt us, and that was sort of uh, what happened before. I got up to the Capitol where I saw people climbing the walls. And then, uh, as I reported more on the situation there, you, you see the people beating on the police officers. Uh, and that's the really stunning thing to this day for me is the, the lack of humanity there, frankly, to see someone with an American flag on a flagpole and then beating a police officer. That is an image, Yuki, that I will never forget. You and I have been in this business for a long time, and I think you, you could probably, you would probably agree that conveying the facts to people these days is harder than ever. They don't want to believe it because, you know, they see something in social media and they believe that before they believe a, a seasoned journalist who is just trying to relay the facts and tell both sides of the story. Uh, and so going forward, I, I just tell people like it is. I, I tell them what I saw that day, and hopefully they believe the words coming out of my mouth. But that's really all you can do is relay the facts, uh, because the facts of that day are pretty disturbing. And the fact that a lot of people nowadays, a year later, still, you know, I don't know if they don't want to believe that it happened or they don't trust that it happened, but it happened. And this democracy was wounded because it happened. And the question is, where do we go from here? We thank Jeff for his account.